Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Leon from No More Lines. This video will show you how to set up a Microsoft query with a parameter value. Now the importance of this is that you'll be able to query a table or a particular query within Microsoft Access so that you can filter off of either one parameter or multiple parameters. I personally use this for years and I found that it makes uh, access and data within an access database much easier, especially large pieces of data, potentially data that is greater than the limit that Excel has, which is a little bit over a million rows. So using this technique, you'll be able to actually query a large uh, table without having to pull the whole table in and you'll be able to actually change the parameters of the query itself by setting uh, parameter values and the cells within um, Microsoft Excel. So real quick, the one that you're looking at now is a sales table that I created. And uh, I, and, and just to translate it, the, the table itself is basically saying that I wanna see all the order dates that are less than or equal to August 1st of 2019. And as you can see, I have a descending sort on this table where the the latest date is going to be 7-30-2019 and the earliest date is going to be 2-14-2015. And I actually have it to where I can set different values and the table will automatically update. So again, this is this is a great tool if you're trying to access a large piece of data, but also too, if you want to be able to simply create uh, automation tools or even have views for customers um, where you don't have to do a whole lot of uh, querying back and forth. Because some people, they're not really as versed in uh, access as others are. Uh, Excel is more intermediate, but you can basically combine both Excel and Outlook. I'm sorry, Excel and access into a, a single solution. So I'm going to show you how to actually uh, create this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a new sheet. Uh, one important thing is that you want to actually put your parameters uh, in sales already. Because after you create the Microsoft query, if you try to go back and, and change the parameters, it kind of acts up sometimes. It's better if you kind of have it planned out in the beginning and then set the query one time and just make sure that everything else is uh, set up right. So again, I, I'm going to set my... Uh, my actual parameter value first. Then I'm going to go to the the data tab on the ribbon. I'm going to go to the section called Get External Data. I'm going to click from Other Sources and I'm going to click from Microsoft Query. Then from here, I'm going to click on Microsoft Access Database and I'm going to click OK. Then from here, I'm going to go find the uh, the actual table I'm looking for. Well, I'm sorry, it's not the table, the access, access database I'm looking for. So in this case, I'm going to look for a database called test database. I'm going to hit um, order purchase, purchase table. I'm going I'm to bring all the, um, the fields over. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click next again. Uh, you, you can actually sort those values. You don't have to do it right now. One of the most important parts of this is that you want to make sure that you press uh, view data or edit query in Microsoft Query because otherwise it's not going to always work once you've already set it up already. So I'm going to hit finish. And then basically it's going to query that table, the whole table, and then it's going to show it here. Then from here, I'm going to go to the view uh, tab at the top. I'm going to go to criteria and I'm going to set the order date as w whatever criteria I want. Now, what's cool is that this lets you put in uh, either uh, or statements or and statements. So it actually does a little bit of both. Believe it or not, you can actually it's it's pretty much as robust as uh, Microsoft Access is and that you can set a uh, layered uh, criteria so you can do ands ors you can do ands and ors you can do a, a lot of different things it also accepts 
uh, a Boolean statement, as I said earlier uh, in sheet one, where basically greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, things like that, not equal to. So I'm going to do less than equal to. And the important part is that the same way I want to do it in Microsoft Access, I need to set a uh, query a uh, parameter and you can call it whatever you want to call it. I usually have it a, a three or, or, or four digit uh, name and then just click off of that particular uh, row. And then what's going to happen is that it's going to ask you for a parameter value. All you do is just click OK. And once the query actually shows nothing, that's actually that actually means that it that it's working correctly. So what's going on now is that it's actually actually going to look for a parameter. So to proceed, I'm going to close out the Microsoft Query window completely, and then from there, I'm going to set the table uh, in the place where I want it within the um, Excel workbook. I'm going to press OK. And then it's going to ask me for that DRDD value, which is going to be uh, less than or equal to the order date that I select. So I'm going to click the cell uh, D1. I'm going to go uh, click use this value reference for future refreshes. I'm going to do uh, refresh automatically when cells cell values change. So I'm going to click OK. And then basically, if we do a sort on this table again, a descending sort, you, you, you'll notice that those same dates are there. So I have it to where the criteria is May 1st, 2019. But I can change it to, uh, to a month later, June 1st, 2019. And you'll see that this table actually will update. So I'll show you a couple examples. So you see that I put 720 2019. When I did that, it actually updated my table. But I can set any date I want to here. So I'm going to do a future date of of December 1st, 2020 and it's going to show everything. And you see that I set it as 11 2000 when my earliest days 2015 is it's not going to show anything so as you can see this actually updates depending on, on on which dates i put in here and what's cool is that it's a uh it's a pool which means that whatever data is in here i can save and manipulate it or, or whatever but whenever i i, I refresh that the, 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 the like data itself it won't override the uh, table so this is a great tool for people that are not, like I said, not really great and um, and using um, access, but they need to be able to access uh, access tables within um, Microsoft Access. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, most important thing is that you want to make sure that you set your uh, your parameters ahead of time and uh in fact a really good good thing to uh, do to kind of make this real easy you can actually do a, a query a group by query off of uh like for example off the source you can actually group by that turn it into a drop down menu and you can actually reference the drop down menu as a uh as a parameter so you can literally set up a, a rolling table that will automatically update depending on which values you actually select. And I'm probably going to show you that in a, a later video. But for this one, I just wanted to show you uh, how that particular um, Microsoft query works. So uh, before I go, I'm going to just go ahead and, and show you another example. And as you can see, it it continues to update. So, yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Um, I'm going to actually have an example of this and um, I'm going to put an example of this in, in the description box and on my website. I'm going to change the table slightly because the one I'm using it has some information that I, I don't really want you to look at, at too closely. <laughs> but um, yeah, just let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay. Hey, thanks for watching.